What's up guys, my name is Carlos Alberto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For those of you who haven't subscribed, please make sure you do so somewhere right here and hit that notification bell button so you're aware every time I upload a brand new video. So today what I have for you guys is a post 2020 quarantine hair guide. I feel like the hair game is gonna be really crazy. So I feel like right now it's a perfect, perfect moment to pivot your hairstyle and explore some new cool stuff now that you have the hair, now that you have a little bit of growth and forced into a corner to grow your hair out. So I think that right now is the perfect time to talk about a post quarantine guide for men's hairstyles. So let's go ahead and begin this video right now. And also guys, I just want to mention on this video real fast that on chapterhair.com, we are rolling out some really, really cool features on the website. And also we're building out this really cool newsletter that you guys could highly benefit from. And everything on that newsletter is going to be free. Obviously any type of sales that we are going to introduce you'll be the first ones to know if you are signed up so that's mainly the biggest incentive but also there's going to be curated information that's going to be built for you guys once you guys see that newsletter format so you guys will be able to learn a little bit more about your hair that's designed for your hair type and just overall join the chapter hair community so just before this video make sure you guys check out chapterhair.com and sign up for that newsletter that's all i ask it's free thank you okay like i said there's going to be some really cool hairstyles coming out of quarantine because everyone's hair is long right now. People are dying for a haircut. And I think that it's also very important that you got to know your hair a little bit better. You maybe had to step out of your comfort zone and see how cool your hair looks with longer length. And yeah, longer length, that's really all we have. Or if you cut your hair bald, like got a crew cut or something and you figure that that hairstyle works really well for you, then I think it's really cool to just pivot and transition your hairstyles and realize that something that you didn't think would look good actually looks good on you. So hairstyle number one is a little bit on the longer side. This gentleman has a little bit of the wavier, curlier hair. I believe he might have blow dried it a little bit and he has a lot of length on top and it looks really good because it's blended into the sides. But as you can tell, the sides are still a little bit shaggy and it's not perfectly cut or edged up. So there's a little bit of like ruggedness to this hairstyle which looks really cool and, and I think this is just a certain vibe that if you could pull this off if your barber or hairstylist could pull this off it's really awesome so they really have to listen and pay attention to the details in this haircut but the haircut that he has in this photo is not that short at all he's keeping some length and as you can see his sideburns are full his sides are full there's no taper it's all pretty much just trimmed up and the top is textured and also the sides are textured but the waviness is really cool so it makes the, curly, the curls of his hair on the sides make his hair look very natural, uh, but also the uh, the fringe, the front of his hair is also blow dried. It's also, I'm pretty sure it's either slightly straightened with either a flat iron or maybe he actually just used a round brush comb to do it, to blow it out a little bit, but it looks really good. And I think that this hairstyle right here would just look good with someone who has very curly hair and wants to explore keeping the longer length that they actually have right now at this moment. So hairstyle number one, I think is amazing. Hairstyle number two, Zayn Malik, obviously the legend of hair. And right here, he has a very full head, head of hair, head of hair as well. And the sides are just a little bit longer. I don't believe we're gonna be seeing too much skin uh, coming out of quarantine. I feel like people shouldn't really go for a bald fade just yet. I feel like they should maybe just transition slowly back into that if, and play with their hair just a little bit more so that they can realize that maybe the bald fade just looks the best on them, but maybe chop a little bit off at a time just to explore different hairstyles. This looks really good right here for someone who doesn't really want to have a hair on the sides. Maybe someone who has very kinky and wavy, curly, stubborn hair that sticks out. Uh, let's say people uh, like Asian hair, for example, maybe they just need a very short, but the top is very cool. It's very wavy. It's still long. It's probably about five inches long. Then, he has a little fringe off to the side and it looks really messy as well. Just textured and tussled, the very natural hairstyle. Overall, a very great look and a really good length to explore because it's still short on the sides and it'll still be manageable if your sides get very unmanageable after it's about one inch long. The third haircut is awesome. This hairstyle is very easy to achieve. It's very tussled, it's just left naturally. This gentleman has more of straight hair and it's just off to the side as well. There's a little bit of wave going into it. Obviously his sides aren't tapered. There's no length, it's slicked back. You can see on the sides towards the back of his hair, there's some hair product uh, residue there, which means that he put some hair product on the side of his hair. And it just looks really cool, just very natural. He just layered the top portion of his head, of his hairstyle, but the sides are also just slightly textured, but left very, very lengthy, which is awesome. So this haircut is really cool to explore because 
of the length and the sides. It's just kept very neat and very clean. Haircut number four, we have this guy named Giotto right here, this Italian amazing dresser. Um, he has very sick hair. His hair is a little bit longer. It's very manicured. It's taken care of. The areas, like the sides are trimmed up. Uh, the sides are probably cut just a little bit. This is all scissor cut. There's no machine. It's very tailored to his hairstyle and his hair type. So you can see it's just left very long. It's slicked back. Everything slicked back. And I actually like the longer portion on the back towards down on the neckline. Usually what barbers and hairstylists do, they just lift that bulk up and cut right underneath it and just clean up the, clean up the hairline underneath the hair and then just let the rest of the long hair fall over it. And it just keeps your hairstyle and your neck very clean and hairy less. So this hairstyle is really cool if you have this type of hair and if you could slick it back and you usually wear a slick back, I think this hairstyle is very, very amazing. Haircut number five is just like haircut number four, but a little bit shorter on the sides. This has a little bit of a taper going into it. The top of his hair is very long. The top of his hair is very layered and it's also blended to the sides. Obviously you can see the hair cut just falls very naturally uh, down to the back of his hair. And you can see the taper, the slight taper coming from the sideburns and just the taper down his neckline and around his hairline. This is a great hairstyle for this hair type. And if you want to achieve this, if you have a little bit of waviness, you could also achieve this very easily by just straightening your hair or using a blow dryer and some tools to get your hair to this type. Hairstyle number six, now we're moving a little bit shorter. Like I said, there's people who say I can't have my sides too long because it feels too bushy or they just stick out. So this is another interpretation of the hairstyle where, top, where the top is left a little bit lengthier. Uh, the fringe is left very bulky and it falls off to the side. So Essentially, the fringe is going to be the main component of this hairstyle where it has to be textured, it has to be layered, and it has to be tossed back just right. And that's going to be the main focus of this hairstyle. The sideburns are tapered more than the back. The back is left a little bit naturally. This haircut and this hairstyle, you can see Mariano DeVaio, the legend, uh, usually wears this type, usually wears his hairstyle like this, which looks very clean. It looks very modern, it looks very chic and classy. So you still have that edge of a nice taper. If you love your face shape and you don't want to lose your face shape, obviously, if you just get little tapers, then it'll keep your face looking very slim. So if that's what you need, then this is a hairstyle that goes perfectly with that face shape. And as you can see, the top is left bulky and textured. So essentially, this is just the longer, this is just a scale of the hair type from haircut number Four. Haircut number seven. This is for someone who likes their hair pretty short, but doesn't want to go completely bald or go for a crew cut. I think this is probably the next stage of a crew cut where you have the top a little bit lengthier, but the sides are still all essentially one length except for the fringe, but the fringe is cut pretty short as well. This fringe is probably around two inches long, uh, no more than that. And the sides are all pretty much even and comb forward, brush forward. Uh, the sides are outlined very neatly and trimmed very clean. I think that this hairstyle looks really good for someone who wants more of that shorter classic look, um, but not necessarily go for a crew cut or as short and tight as a crew cut. Haircut number eight is for those who have a little bit more of a longer length. If you have hair that covers your ears, I think that you should definitely keep that and just go underneath your sideburn and just a little bit before the ear and trim that area. I highly regret cutting my hair and not messing with it when my hair was up to my shoulders because I literally just said one morning, I don't like it, it's too long, and I went to go cut it. And, and it, I had it for about maybe two months and I just chopped it all off without thinking. And this is the perfect example of how a very nice, clean, medium hair length should, hairstyle, medium hair length hairstyle should look. Um, as you can see, it's very technical, it's cut very tailored to his hairstyle and also it's very important for you guys to communicate with your hairstylist so you guys can talk about your hair type and how you want it to fall. I think this is an excellent job. The waviness of this hair is very natural. It's very subtle. It still looks very clean. This is a really good example of medium hair length that's just messy and tossed back. <clears throat> Haircut number nine, if you have a very curly hair type, like I said, some people don't like the sides to be too long because it's it's not tameable. So you want to cut your hair very short. The sides are still not to the skin. This is a probably a one guard on the sides and the top looks very cool. Left very messy, a little bit of that messy French crop uh, style that is very popular. I had something similar to this hairstyle before. I love it. And it also is great if you have a larger, uh, forehead and you don't want to show off your forehead this is a perfect perfect hairstyle for men who are uh, losing have have a receding hairline 
or just have a big forehead. So this hairstyle right here is an all-time classic, and it still looks very nice with a little bit of a length, with a little bit of length on the side. Haircut number ten. This hairstyle is really cool. It's very clean, very chic. Uh, the sides are slicked back, not too short either. I believe that the sides are probably all blended from the way that his hair is falling. You can see from his ear that there's a little bit of length coming out. Uh, this hairstyle is just very clean. If you have hair that you want to slick back or have a very nice wave to it, then this is the perfect hairstyle for you to explore. Haircut number 11 is for those who do want a little bit of length. And this one has a little bit more dimension to it. As you can see, the sides are cut just a little bit shorter and it's, it's tailored very well to his hairstyle and the way it falls. So it falls to the back very naturally. It's a very natural hairstyle. And the way that it's textured, that the layers and the textures fall from his hair is left very naturally. So this is for someone who doesn't want to use that much product, uh, that wants to have a very clean hairstyle, very subtle, clean hairstyle. This hairstyle is also very great for someone who wants to hide their forehead or have a receding hairline. I think that this is a very great haircut to explore in a hairstyle. Or if you're an athlete or you go to the gym and don't want to spend too much time doing your hair, but you do want a little bit of shape and a little of dimension to your hair, this is a perfect hairstyle to go for. So screen grab this if you like it. <laughs> haircut number 12. This guy has very longer hair and this is just a very layered, also very tailored to his hair type. The fringe are left a little bit more loosey, they're curly, they're wavy, and the sides are just trimmed a little bit more neatly and the bulk of the back of his hair is left rested just so it could just sit naturally. So when he leaves it to fall naturally, everything just kind of tangles together and makes a very tight curl. So if you want to use some curling product, I highly recommend it for this hairstyle. Or if you want to use a very subtle uh, hair product like a styling cream, then I highly recommend you use that to achieve this hairstyle. So that's what I have for you guys today. These are the 12 haircuts that I think are going to be great for post uh, quarantine 2020. Um, these hairstyles could be achieved very easily and also like I said it's like since you have the length right now or you have more of a longer hairstyle and hairstyle look a hairstyle or a feel that you're not used to keep the length and just mess with it just a little bit and then cut it off if you want to if you guys want to follow me on Instagram check out my fashion check out my daily fashion uh, and kick it with me on the daily go ahead and follow me at by Carlos Alberto I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also give this video a thumbs up describe your hairstyle that you currently have right now down in the description so the best that you can just let's see what I want to see what type of hairstyles you guys are rocking right now or what you're forced to rock because of quarantine so thank you guys for stopping by my YouTube channel this week I highly appreciate that very much don't forget to put style and everything I'll see you guys next week peace